Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and today we're going to start developing our character's stats. Now, this is probably going to be a fairly long series, more than two or three episodes, so I'll break it down into smaller episodes, which I'll release one or two every day or so, just so I don't flood your, your subscription box. But at the end, we should end up with something that looks something like this. So we're going to have a place to put our character name, our attributes for our character, which is things like might, which is your physical strength, constitution. Uh, we'll have our vitals, and we'll also have uh, some skills. You, you can set as many of these as you want. And you notice as we move our little sliders around, our health and skills also change. Now this is our character creation screen that we'll end up with. So with that said, let's just dive right in. Now let's begin by creating another folder under our scripts folder. And we'll call it character classes. Now this folder is going to hold all the classes that we're going to use to, to build up our character. So let's right click there, let's create another C Sharp script, and we're going to call this base stat. And since this class is not going to drive from mono behavior, we're not going to need any of this. We won't need the inheritance part. And we'll just change the name of our class to base stat. And get rid of the start and the update function. Now let's set up the variables for our class. I'll just quickly type them in here, then we can go over what they are. So private int base value, private int buff value, private int exp to level, and then a private float level modifier. Okay, so our base value, this is going to be the base value of our stat. So every time we spend experience to raise a skill, the base value will go up by one. So we'll just say the base value of this stat. Now our buff value, in our little game we're going to be able to buff our stats and this is just going to be the amount that this skill gets from the buff. So the amount of a buff to this stat. And the experience to level. This is going to be the experience needed to gain the next point, our next point of base value. So the total amount of XP and our level modifier. It's just simply going to be a float from zero to one to say how much the next point is going to cost us. So after we've raised our base value by one point, it'll quickly calculate how much more we need to raise it to the next point. So the modifier. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's build our default constructor. And then here we're just going to set the default values for all of our variables. So we'll have base value. I'm going to start off with our everything equal, equaling zero. Our buff value is also going to equal zero. And our level modifier. Uh, I'm going to make everything cost 10% more to raise. So 1.1 F. And our EXP level. I will start off everything costing 100 experience to raise. So if the first level is going to cost 100, when we recalculate using the level modifier, the next one will cost 10% more. So it's going to be 110. So now let's go on to set some public methods that access our, our variables. So these are just your basic setters and getters. And what these do is allow us to get the values stored in these variables or set the value. So they're, they're all going to be public. And they're going to have a return type 
based on the type of uh, variable they are. So we'll start with the first one, int. I'm going to use capital B for base value. Then inside of here, we just simply put get and set. Uh, in our getter, you're, when you're calling from another script, you're trying to get the value. So you can just do return, then the value of the variable you want to return. And in the setter, when you're calling it from another script, you're trying to set the value of this variable. So you can just take the variable name, which would be base value, and set it equal to value. Now let's go over this just a bit. You'll notice that I have underscores in front of my variables. Uh, that's just something I do personally to denote that it's a private variable that's going to have a basic setter and getter for it. Uh, you don't need this. It's just something I do to so when I look at a variable I can tell exactly that it was private and I have a setter and getter for it. So let's quickly go through and set up the basic setter and getters for the rest of our variables. And if you notice the name of the method is the name of the variable but capitalized and without the the underscore. Since all of these are roughly going to be the same, only thing changing being the variable name and the name of the, the method, I'm just going to pause the video here and come back once I've got all of them typed in just to save some time. Okay, so I now have all my basic setters and getters in and when my scripts start to get a little long, the mono development as well as Visual Studio, you can set up regions so we'll say region, basic, setters, and getters. Then I'm going to go to the end of all my setters and getters and create an end region. I like to have mine aligned right against the margin. And that allows you to be able to close the whole thing down like that. So you don't, once your scripts get long enough, you don't have to keep looking at the same code. It just makes things a little easier to look at at times. Okay, so now we have that done. Now let's create the method that we're going to use to calculate how much experience we need for the next level. Now this is not something that's going to be called from outside of our class, so we're going to make it private. And it's going to return an int. And we're just going to call it calculate exp to level. It doesn't take any parameters. And it's just simply a return statement. And in that return statement, we'll do exp to level times a level modifier. Now we'll create a method called level up, which is going to be public. It's going to be a type void because it doesn't return anything. It takes no parameters. And in here, we'll want to set our exp level to equal whatever it's going to be for the next level. So calculate experience to level. And we'll want to increase our base stat or our base value. So when we have our little character level up panel going and we click on a stat to increase it, it'll be calling this method here. And what it's going to do is increase the value and also set the experience needed for the next level to be what it's supposed to be. Now if we look, we have a base value and a buffed value. So we're going to want to be able to return what the value is of both of these total. Uh, we could just make another variable and store it there and call it uh, buffed value or adjusted value. But for now, I'm just going to make a method that returns that for us. And it will be public. So public int, it's going to return an integer. We'll call it adjusted value. It doesn't take any parameters. And it will simply return the base value plus the buff value. Now this completes our base stat class and in the next tutorial we'll do the attribute class. I'll see you then.